when it comes to apps, specifically review apps, like we've seen in some of our previous videos, it is extremely easy to get lost amongst the legitimate hundreds and hundreds of individual apps for individual applications when it comes to Shopify and direct to consumer e-commerce growth. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing my top five favorite review apps for Shopify brands in 2024. But as you can see, like I mentioned, it's very easy to get lost here. There's over 722 apps in the app store when I search up the word review. So what's the difference here? What are the difference between some of the best apps? Which one should you choose? Well, in today's video, like I said, we're gonna break down my top five favorites. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on in. Number one is gonna be Looks Product Reviews. This is a super, super OG app. It's been around since 2015 and it has been, you know, probably, you've probably heard of it. If you're in the e-commerce space, you might already be even using it. It is one of the most commonly used apps and simply because like with all of these other review apps, as we're going to be reviewing, as we have in the previous upsell video, these generally do the same thing. It's just about figuring out individual things, which apps that you like have some, some things may not have this X, Y, and Z and so forth. And the other thing is basically just like the UI and the ability to customize, right? And really just figuring out what you like individually. And so, like I said, I'm going to be presenting you with five different review app options they're all great you can use each of them uh, not all together but obviously you could use one or the other and there's not really going to be a big difference it's really just what your preference is and so with looks you know basically you're gonna have the ability to collect uh, you know reviews and visual reviews some review apps only allow text the majority now should allow photos and videos you can obviously customize the reviews on the actual below the product page or below the actual product you can customize like the stars uh, and the actual text and the layout out of how things are being presented choose different display options right so you can have like a really big review or you can have just like small uh, little stars you can kind of have them in different areas on the website whether you want to have it in the product page whether you want to have it in the collection page so on and so forth right you can have different layouts for reviews and then obviously on the back end of all of these apps again you can have like pop-ups referrals etc uh, upsell offers and then obviously integrations and the back end of all of these apps there's going to be a way to monitor this stuff whether it's reviews referrals upsells and etc looks offers a few things individually but the back end is not as in-depth as some of the other review apps that i'm going to be reviewing in today's video and so i would probably put this in a mid-tier review app i'm going to be looking at some like base ones and actually i think i'm pretty sure i've removed all of the base ones in today's video it's going to be really just mid and high tier review apps. And what I mean by this is you can use these mid tier apps and I really wouldn't use anything less. It doesn't matter if you're just starting your brand or you're already a multi seven, multi eight figure brand, or if you are, you know, multi eight figure, multi seven figure, then I would really suggest looking into some of the tier one apps that I'll be reviewing. And that kind of leads me into uh, one of the OG apps as well on this, on the Shopify store, which is going to be judge.me. Same exact thing, guys. This app has the ability to actually collect all reviews on autopilot, integrate with Clavio, do all the good stuff. This one's a little bit more out of the box, so to speak. There's not a lot of customization that you can do here. But the one thing that's really big with judge.me is, right, you can actually share your reviews so you can collect them direct to consumer and you can use them on your Google Shopping, which is really, really big because Google Shopping has certain uh, parameters around what review apps they allow. This is a really, really cool one that you can actually basically upload your reviews from your Shopify store. It'll be confirmed on Google and then you can use those in your Google Shopping campaigns as well. Number three is gonna be Farah Product Review. So this is again, another pretty cool one. You can actually import product reviews from Amazon, Etsy, AliExpress, and Google. So you can't actually you know use those on those platforms but you can import them. So if you already have reviews on Google, if you already have reviews on Amazon, right, you're moving over to direct to consumer. This is a great app to import reviews from those because a lot of these uh, platforms, again, you can see this works with Amazon reviews, Etsy reviews, Google shopping reviews, Google reviews, and AliExpress reviews. If I'm not mistaken, this is only has the ability to import, right? You can't actually export reviews from Shopify and use them on Google. I'm not hundred percent sure if they're a verified review app, but again, same exact thing, guys. You just have the ability to kind of do a little bit of customization. You can have, the one thing I really like with this is you can have like average rating badges. So on your store, you can say, hey, this store is average rated at 4.5 stars just for the overall store. Or you can do this on individual products, which is really cool as well. Auto review requests, right? Pretty much all apps do this at this point, import existing reviews. 
like I mentioned, so you can pose one of the apps we're going to be looking at. But if you've used Trustpilot, Google Business, right, you have apps reviews from Google, really, really important to import those and then show product ratings in search engine results. So again, it looks like you actually can use reviews into the apps. So we'll have to take a look into that uh, quick and easy setup, or it looks like you actually can put reviews uh, from the app onto Google. So that's really cool. And then again, most of these things like content moderation, full content control, all this stuff is uh, pretty generic. Every app really has this stuff. Two of my favorite we're going to get into now is Yotpo product reviews. So this app has been around probably the longest, one of the longest in the overall uh, e-commerce space. If you have a, you know, decent sized brand, right, and you're getting looking at, you know, tens of thousands of reviews, I would really recommend looking at Yotpo, not only just for like the amazing customizations that you have, you can put your reviews on your homepage, category, product page, etc. But their analytics on the back end is really second to none, in my opinion, as far as reviewing. And then obviously as well, everything integrates, you know, with your email service providers, so you can collect reviews using email and SMS, very, very simple. And then obviously the moderation and everything on the back end, like I said, is, you know, honestly, probably the best in its class. So I would really, in my opinion, and again, the cool thing guys is with all of these apps, take a look at them yourself, but you can see like the demo stores of basically examples of like what they've built as far as like review apps. So I really love Yapo's reviews. Uh, again, so you can have like floating review here, right? Like this is really cool. Then obviously like they have like their little product review badges there, and then the actual review bar here. So you can kind of have it like this, or you can actually have like images and videos, right? Of course, they don't have any the example, which they definitely should, but Yotpo is definitely one of my favorite. And then last but not least is going to be stamped product reviews and UGC. So again, another OG in the space, been around since 2016. This again connects with Google, which is really, really important. And I believe this is one of the only review apps that we've looked at today that actually integrates with Gorgeous. So to, depending on the size of your brand, if you're already using Gorgeous for customer support, this might be one of the bigger product review apps for you. Again, a lot of customization here. Automate review quests that actually look some of the best in my opinion, as far as templated emails. Their back end, as far as the analytics is actually fairly, fairly up to date and actually high quality as well. I'd probably put them on tier with Yapo, which is why I saved these two for the last. And guys, that wraps it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. Make sure that this video gets pushed out to the right audience. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all the links are in the description. If you want to work with my agency, we specialize in paid ads, email and SMS marketing, conversion and optimization and user generated content, or I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for our inner circle as well. Link in the description. So thanks so much for watching guys. And I will see you into the next one.